Uh, greetings, fellow travelers. This is I, Mr. Evil 156 back again for some more Cyberpunk. I almost said Fallout. We're playing, been playing Fallout. I only did the tutorial, but I'm going to play a lot more today, shortly. Ah, oh. Our last venture slowing us. Essentially, well, getting ready to do the main missions for today. Because, let's just say, I upgraded my cyberware. But, one problem. <laughs> I didn't have the cash to continue. That's right, that changes now. Like running all the way. Oh. Ooh, it's chilly today. Anything? After that. Hey, Rogue. Got the scratch. Got the cred for the helmet job. Fine. Anders Hellman, flick me the deeds. Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. Hope you found him. Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. <laughs> wait, wait. Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. <clears throat> Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Think she'll help? The rogue I remember was one cold-ass bitch, but she usually went with her gut. Something tells me she thinks you check out. Let's see what you got. Your Hellman's not on any payroll, not officially anyway, but he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Must be prepping them for a transfer. How would you know? Chinese corpo playbook's an open one to me. This looks like the old vanishing pigeon. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered <sighs> if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on the AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. Data's all confidential. You just snap your fingers and it falls in your lap. I know where to look, and I know whose head to put in a vice. 
Also, hate wasting time, especially answering stupid questions. That's fair. What's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look, their backup hustle will be on us. But right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. A dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. So a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her and not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Nabin Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Strange. I thought nomads gave the city and city folk a wide berth. Varies by clan, by the connections they have, the depth of shit they're in. But you're right. Alda Caldos are rarely willing to do biz with the city. Pan Am's got a different take? Yep, on everything, it seems. Why's Pan Am gotta help me? I sense a catch. A pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She run into a hitch? Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her. But if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. Fine. Let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Oh, finally. All clear. Thanks. Good luck. Mm. Did you anything? Hang on just a little longer, hey, too. What gives? Ripper's on the way. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, What's up? Why aren't we at the hospital? Might not come after us here. Ah, fuck. No. Mm. Anything. What do you mean you're not coming? Again. All right. Hello. Hey, Pan Am. Got your number from Rogue. Name's V. Great. Where's that old warhorse want to kick me now? Forget Rogue for a minute. I want to help you. It's far too little, far too late. So do tell Rogue she can eat my shorts. Tell it to your therapist. Call him about your ride and the merch you lost. Interested? Or are you gonna tell me to eat your shorts too? The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya. Yeah, well, what do you know? I was that was coincidence, or I was there before. I'm gonna go coincidence. That was way too convenient. Yeah, I think I came through here. Hey, Pan Am? So you're V. Where's my car? <laughs> Agree to help me, you'll find out. Oh, fuck no. You will not jerk me around. Tell me where my car is. 
Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car. You go alone, you won't get him back. Then you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? One guy I gotta talk to. A corpo traveling by corp convoy. No, I don't do abductions. Besides, you'd need many more bodies and heaps of gear to take a convoy. It's just one AV. Plan Brute will take it over Jackson Plains. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. You got a deal? I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirty -ding bastard. I will strangle you. Kinky. Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Want to tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Buzz! Hey! Mm. Nash is gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is, the motherfucker screwed me over. Buzz, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Buzz, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, Boz. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. Who the hell's Boz? Won't cause us any grief, I hope. Boz is a stand-up guy. Sixth Street. You drive for gangoons. Is that not allowed? Street punks need things moved. I need money like anyone else. So, where to now? The Alda Caldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. Greetings, Smith. How are you? Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. It isn't? You mean to irritate me. Okay, then. All right, all right, all right. Let's it was get in the cop. Get in the cop. They're still family. So it's complicated. You might say so. Yes. Good, let's roll. Get in. Where'd you get the ride? Straight out of some driveway in Rancho? Yes, exactly. Is that a problem? For me? No, not at all. I mean, there's no accounting for taste. Screw you. <laughs> How the hell did you land in this mess? I liked the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue? Do better not to wonder what her agenda might be. Goddamn, I can't stand the bitch! You know what? Screw Rogue. Can't see why you even care. Because I need the money. Don't let her push you around. She's not the only fixer in town. Yet you're only here because she sent you. But I'm not the one bitching about her. You don't know her. Not at all. Did she tell you she was the one to bring me and Nash together? Did she tell you it slipped her mind to mention Nash was Raff and Shiv? 
might not have known that side of him. Don't make me laugh. A fixer of her standing knows. And Rogue probably knows we're talking about her right now. Nash and I had a role to play in her game. Her plan. That's it. Rogue's a frigid old bitch. That's the truth. Come ahead. <clears throat> well, would you look what the cat dragged in? Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Hey, guys. Hello? What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Need your help. With what? What's this about? Raffin screwed Pan Am. Plan is to show him that was a bad idea. How bad did they get you? Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. You know, we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Really could use your help. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance. But... But Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. Phew. Hey, Pan Am. Are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Hey, Pan Am. Have you brought someone new? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. Oof. Will you help me with this? What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Did you figure out your differences with Soul? When you come back? Panam! You'll stop by later, right, honey? Next time, Ellie. I promise. <clears throat> so, I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Will do. Put it in the trunk. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue, Saul. He your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. 
Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm hmm Do you have anyone you would call close? Not right now, no. Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> those two in the army? Scorp and Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They were on contract during the last war. Panzer boys? Flew those huge transporters? Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. So Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Oof. Okay, we have arrived. Did we just really fast up we only what a few feet? We get ready to greet the Raffins, and we've little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Doubt Rocky Ridge could be any deader. Everything's down. Nothing works here. Well, have you found anything? No dice. Nothing's up. All cut off. Well, we'll make it work. The Raffins will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. Let's check the substation. Okay. Found the breakers, but there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. I know how to surprise the bastards. Right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? Fine idea. Let's get us some power. I'll look around for access points. Great. They're likely to show up in numbers. We can't know how many. We need to outfox them. Then get to my car somehow. Relax. Got a few ideas. I'll try. Well, duty calls. <laughs> Fine idea. Let's get us some power. I'll look around for access points. Great. They're likely to show up in numbers. We can't know how many. We need to outfox them. Then get to my car somehow. Relax. Got a few ideas. I'll try to play a little game with them at the intersection. Hell yes. Perfect. As soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First, we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. All right.
The panel looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. Ooh. Red cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. And done. Now the Black Rattler. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am. Switch gears got power. Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's get into position. Now we wait. Remember, as soon as we see them, you give us power. Got it. Cover me, just in case. Of course. Whoa. And my thorn. You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them off. Sound good? Sounds great. Should be careful. Well, not too bloody. Well, I can't. Assemble junk. Hmm. What crappy? Hmm. Need a bit. More to craft the good stuff. There. 
Wait another minute, could you? <laughs> Surprised you wanted her back. She completes me. See? Managed just fine without Mitch and Scorpion. Listen, V, it's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo, you got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. And I am. Listen, I have a plan. And I don't care. The car and the merch, that's what we were after. We got them. Six Street away from Just listen and I... to me, for fuck's sake! I know where their little hiding hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. All right. So where's this hideout? A hop and skip away. <laughs> Thanks, V. What Nash did. I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alda Caldos. After I came to Night City. And I granted him my trust. I get it. I know how you feel. I had someone betray me just like that once. And did you make them pay? Never got the chance. Someone else got to him first. But if they had it? Would you have done it? No doubt. Without skipping a beat. Let's get this over with. There we go. Are you ready? Let's get him. Surprise, oh. motherfucker! Oh, that's not fair!
No, oh, somebody. Oh, still, so I can got you. All right, you got it. I have sights on that too. Almost. Say again, solve your own problems, clean up your shit. Nash is dead. One shit cleaned. Happy? And the Sixth Street merch? Nash can't deliver it anymore. But if you ask nicely, I might be able to help you. Help me? I take my cut up front, honey. But I guess I'm touched. Was actually wondering if you wouldn't forget about Biz while you were out chasing down a vendetta. Fuck! <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, it's... Bitch that rogue. Think she might have lost the plot. Me just. Hey, boss. Got your cargo. No, no fast ones. <laughs> Come on, let's meet. Sunset Motel. I know you're not kidding. I'm certain to be there. Hmm. Okay, I arranged our meeting. Let's do the deal and start working on Hellman. Agreed? Should be fun. Well, it's just over there. I'm going to skip the way. They're here. Let me do the talking. Sensing trouble? No. At least I don't think so. call him anymore. There's no need. <laughs> you got balls, girl. What's this? A bonus of some sort? We work together. Hmm. Change tunes like you change clothes, girl. There. First class merch. Mm-hmm. Everything's in order? Check your account. Should be pretty plush in a couple minutes. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. Let's roll. That went well. Come on. Let's get a drink. Definitely. 
the amount of stuff in my inventory huh, would be a lot more if I was to be honest although I always did like this rifle Raffin's wiped, Six Street's pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. Good day's not over yet. You still have a chance to piss me off. <laughs> Biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Did those bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back, sure enough. But this place has seen worse. What can I get you? Brosif. Two of them. So that package for Street. What was it? You didn't peek? Valoperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trade in them? <clears throat> Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers. <laughs> Cheers. Here's to what's yet to come. To what's to come. Another one over here. Thanks, Noah. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. <laughs> All right. Time we look to my needs. What's the plan for Hellman? I've come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here, just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? <laughs> Maybe we rent just one room. Good idea. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. <laughs> Not quite what I had in mind. Just what did you have in mind? Just, um, <clears throat> glad to have met you. So I thought... I'm glad we met, too. That could have been a damned tough day. But thanks to you, it all went well. Maybe... calls for a... little celebration? Sure. We can celebrate. But not today. I'm beat. <laughs> Noah will need a room. Twin beds. Just for tonight. I'll go catch a few wings. <laughs> Ugh, I'm starting to feel that stress go away. I'll probably be out as soon as I hit the sack. You had better get some rest, too. This is only the beginning. That's the plan. Ah! <sighs> 
Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Can I help? No, you can't. I'll be done soon. The Rappins left are crooked as a bag of snakes. Did you sleep all right? Can't complain. Come up with anything? For Hellman, I mean. As a matter of fact, I did. Look here. Okay, tell me. We're the wrench. The cutter is the AV. And the screwdriver is where the AV should bury its nose cone in the dust. Now, you must be wondering how we get the AV to do that. That old HMG of yours. My gun will be useful elsewhere. This caliber would barely dent the armor of a heavy hitter like that. There are other ways. Here, the clamps are solution. A Satwave power station. Power station? Wait, you want to use an EMP? Bullseye. But how? We can't generate that sort of pulse on command. Would you like to bet me? We drive up to the power collection unit, break in and override the controls, lift any limiters. As soon as the AV is in range, we set off the electromagnetic turbo pulse. This should smoke the AV system. So the drive, nav systems. Communications. Everything. Out like a light. They won't stand a chance in hell. Remember, need Hellman alive, unharmed. Gotta try not to blow the AV to bits, okay? I know. But I'd say your man had best be buckled in. This idea, if it works. You'll be in for a rough landing. All right. Let's ride. Great. Hop in. It's cold out here. Oh, yeah, it's definitely cold. Who owns this power station? Gov or Corp? Is there any difference? Who do you think pulls the government's strings? Hey, I'm just wondering whose toes we're about to step all over. V, look around. It is simple. Everything you see is owned by a corporation. You like to mess with the corpse, huh? Whatever gave you that idea. Well, wait. Scratch that. Rogue, Nash, the Raffins. You're on thin ice, V. You just like to mess with everyone. Well, then I suppose it's a good thing I'm on your side, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> And now for something completely different. Weirdest thing you've ever transported. Go. What? Are we playing 20 questions? Come on, answer. The deputy finance director of Kaukaz. That's chauffeuring, not smuggling. He rode in the trunk. Flatlined. Really? Dead? A long story. Maybe someday I'll tell you. We've almost reached the dam. We'll make a quick stop. We need to calibrate you with a turret. I want you to be able to use the gun, too. It should up our chances in general. Connect here. How should I connect? Personal link? How else? Just watch the jack. Sometimes you have to jig a little bit. Wired in. Wait a moment. Diagnostics first. Shit, <laughs> it's giving me an error. Odd. Let me work around it. And now, Pam, Johnny. here's Johnny. Out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Great work, V. Hey, uh, I think your implant has a virus. The one in the nape of your neck. Uh, I've got a bioprocessor in my head that's... Operates independently of me. Probably why your diagnostics flagged it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But no data will leak out of it through the personal link. Your ride's secure. Fine. I trust you won't fuck anything up. <laughs> okay. Here goes nothing. See that pile of junk? Fire a short burst into it. I'll take care of the calibration. Good. Next target, single shot. Okay, just one more. Longer round. Great. We're done, I think. 
Now that wasn't so bad, was it? Mm. Calibration's fine, but your soft could really use an update. <laughs> Scanner, controllers, all a couple of generations back, at least. You better tech in the bargain bin at a kabuki flea market. I can help you with that, you know. Yes, sure. The most important thing is that it works now. So where's this power station? You will see in a moment. I know a spot. We'll have a decent view from there. I just want to be sure the area is clear. Sabotage a corpo power station. Jump a corpo transport. Kidnap a corpo suit. This is a plug for the word corpo, or do you have a point? Know what? You're starting to remind me of me. Fifty years back. Minus the charisma. An impressive cop. <sighs> Maybe we Larry. can just get along. Could be something to that, I suppose. What happened to us, it must have had some effect. You're more like me than you think. You'll see. But it goes both ways. Maybe you're becoming more like me. Nah, no way. All looks clear. The area looks deserted. I see no patrols. The huge thing is the collection unit. And see the antennas? Each antenna collects microwave energy from satellites in orbit. That's then converted into electric power. Antennas run a ways down the interstate. We set off a chain reaction that starts in the collection unit. Then each antenna will emit a massive EMP burst. While our AV flies right into our net. We just have to send out the pulse at the right moment. Let's go get her. When we arrive at the station, you overload the systems. I'll set up a bypass link for the detonator. Why don't I start with the transformers? Make mayhem in the relative voltages. Rest should move faster after that. Not a bad idea. That's just... Yeah, yeah, I know, the converters. But they shouldn't be a problem. I'll just crank everything up past max. Seems we think alike. <laughs> so what now? We wait. We should time our arrival to the AV flight. Got it. Good. Time to roll. Done anything like this before? Downing an AV? By myself? No. Why do you ask? Power station, EMP, the systems, networks. Came up with a really solid plan. Thank you. How you approach things, that's the trick. Mine is the triple A. With what now? Assessment, assembly, action. Whatever your task, you do three things. Start by assessing what you already have and what you'll face. The problem. Then you plan with those variables in mind. Take what you have, get what you need, assemble things, people. Finally, you take action. Simple. Got one word for you. <laughs> T-shirts. Triple A. It's all you need to lead the good life. That and the occasional cold beer. <laughs> Method. Triple A. That all you? <laughs> Not at all. I learned it from the Elder Caldos. Mentioned Scorpion. They were trained in something like it during the war. Then they made it their own. It's come in handy, I can't deny. And it will again now. What if, uh, something goes ass up? Well, then your ass had better improvise. Did you really think I'd just give you a foolproof secret to success? Gotta say, almost yes. had me believe in just that. You're too much sometimes, V. <laughs> okay, we'll be there in a moment. One last time. We drive in, fuck up the system, and get the hell out of there. Hold on tight. This could get a little bumpy. Get ready. Okay, I'm ready. What the? Go! I'll deal with you. Deal quick before they hit us! Good enough. Is that all of them? Mm hmm. Provided we hurry. Find the controls. I'll connect the detonator. Quick, B. Mm-hmm. 
Now the doors are up. Ah! V, get the fuck out before something happens to the chest of the tip. You know, I was just about to set up a picnic. Maybe the layout. Work on my mean, base tan. Watch out. The next one might. Johnny? Johnny. Fucking hell. Okay, I'm fine. It's it's okay, just it's okay, I'm fine. Yeah. Just dealt to the fuck out. Not the cleanest job, perhaps, but it still went well. What about the detonator? Is it working? Yes, it's working. And I don't even see a drop in the signal strip. We just need to drive far away enough to keep the pulse from blasting us too. The cliff there. We'll set up. It should give us a good view of the antennas. And then we wait. Okay. Here. Always wanted to push the big red button on something like this. How do we know when? Don't worry. I'll have eyes on it. You just wait for my signal. Then set off that pulse. They won't know what hit them. And by the way... What? We are about to knock a multi-million euro dollar Kang Tao asset clean out of the sky. How does that make you feel? Blasting shit. Exactly what the doc ordered. And that's exactly what I like to hear. Just noticed. What? It's quiet. The hum of the city, people's voices, the smells. It's all gone. Not really. It just intensifies it. I think I forgot quiet exists. Mm hmm. So maybe not the smells. I mean, the coyotes. Rather hard to miss. Thought that was just the air freshener in your throat. Ha ha. Screw you. You'd do better to focus on the AB. Keep your eyes open. I think that's it over there. from Pacifica. All right, get ready. One more second. One more. Now. Boom. There she is. Shit. What's, What's going happening? on? Great. Just great. Fucking hell. Bullseye. Pan Am, the engines are still running. Fuck, they're getting away. They're going nowhere. We gotta go after it. Give me a moment. NM, what are you doing? Shit! Probably jammed again! Oh, Hold on tight! Going on auto 
Connect to the drone. We'll scan the area. We have to get our bearings. Let's roll. You connecting to visual? Mm-hmm. V, if they got the Altic Elders, if they got Mitch and Scorpion, I can't... I don't... I know, I know. Connected. I'm in control. Take it down somehow? Maybe. But we have to get there first. Got five Kangs on patrol. If not for those damn right. glitches, I could have warned them! This is all my doing! Why in the hell were they following the AV? The fools! Probably keeping Hellman in the AV. Mind that launcher. It will blow us to bits if we approach. Okay, here's the plan. You stay in the car. No, I... not so fast. I will go with you. Those are my people. Pan Am. Hate to break it to you, but you're hurt. Wait in the car. I'll try and take out the launcher. I... Fine. But I have Mitch's rifle. I will try to cover you from here. Good idea. Let's move. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Cleared up. Good. Oh. 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 
Path clear. I'm coming for you. All right, all right, all right. Gonna get loot bus. gotta die today. Let's talk. Why should I believe you? Pat? Mm. Yeah, didn't listen. Are you alright? Uh, just some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? Hang on. I'll patch it's you up. nothing. Let's go. They regroup so fast. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Everyone? Scorch? Is he here? Mitch? Mitch? He's... He's safe, right? I am. I'm sorry. I didn't make it in time. No. No! Are you sure? No, he... Scorpion, the rest. I'm sorry we didn't get here sooner. They were good people. Great people. They didn't have to die here. I should have stopped him. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. Stubborn bastard. I'm guessing since you were out here, you were out here for the AV. The question is why? Everything okay? You need anything? Thanks for saving my ass, V. Sorry about your people, but I need to keep moving. I need the guy who's riding this AV. You know anything, see anything. Took him with him, in our cars. Where? West, small unit, your passenger's entourage. Must be looking for a way to call base. So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Yeah, we tried to warn you, but couldn't connect. If they took your cars, we might be able to follow their tracks. Pan Am, listen. I know it's not the best time, but I need Hellman. You promised to help. That still hold? I always keep my word. Mitch, I will find those sons of bitches. I swear. Go. I'll call the crew. Get all this cleaned up. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun. It likes to jam. We'll go by bike. Sounds... Sounds good. Kang Tao lost contact with their AV. Probably looking for it. Better hurry. But Pen Am. What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. Let's get going before they send a rescue party. Scorpion and the rest. Look, I know how you feel. I mean it. I'll help you settle your score with Kang Tao. I will destroy them, V. Every last one. We're in this together. To the bitter end. You know what, V? You're all right. You help me with Nash, you help me with Mitch. To my mind, I owe you a favor. Your Hellman. I will find him. Ah, so that's what this is? Just paying your debts? No. Nomads always help their own. <laughs> oh, so I'm one of yours now. Sounds good. Let's ride. Hope they didn't go far. We'll see. The tire tracks start there. We'll follow them. Our guys were here. Let's follow. Find them. Let's throw. He knew you that well. Sounds like a real adventure. Yeah, 
Why didn't I get a um? Oh yeah. That's for my friends, you assholes! He has no right to oh. Ooh. Must have taken Hellman with them. If they manage to regroup and call for help, we're out of luck. Better hurry then. Left a few peeps behind at the airstrip. Rest went with Hellman. I would have done the same. They're looking to call their people. The last they want is to ride through the desert without backup. I hope Mitch contacted me all the Caldos. All that damn interference. They're coming for him, don't worry. You know what? What? This is my life right here. These tracks lead up past the hill to an old filling station. I wager that's where they're holding help. Let's do it. Drones, patrols, definitely set up shop here. I see. They must have Hellman locked up somewhere. Buffy, see that? The pumps look pretty good. Not what you would find if the place were closed. The bastards might have managed. You won't get out of this alive, you bastards! Not bastard. soon enough. Better cyber gear. Drones, patrols, definitely set up shop here. I see. They must have Hellman locked up somewhere. But V, see that? Shit. The pumps look pretty good. Not what you would. You won't get out of this. 
What the absolute shiting shite? Hang on a second. No, control battery ain't running low. Yorinobu Arasaka, do you wish to take me back home? Pathetic rat's got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Don't take this personally. Oh, I mean, kind of take it personally. Seem to recall you were going to tell Takamura when you got helmet. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Hellman, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Oh, that was cool. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive. What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. <laughs> Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. I mean, we just literally said where we're gonna take him. Man, that wasn't exactly the best scenario or situation. Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder Kelms. <coughs> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do uh, better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. 
I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. That's all I tried to raise, Scorpion. What the hell? Maybe I could help I out know. somehow. I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul. It really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that AV got hit. What in hell? Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're in Aldo Caldo, you were always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all. I'm glad to see you, Mitch, but why'd you even come? Saul, he came with our people. We took care of the bodies, I told him what happened, and he told us to up and follow you. He was worried something would happen to you, to Pan Am. Saul? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but you're family, and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. What in hell? I understand. <laughs> Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? So, what now? Back to Night City? Yeah. I mean, I think so. I have to sit and think what in hell? about everything. I think that's it. Until next time. They're coming. You got a minute. Let's move. Until next time. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours now. Will do. I think it'd be much more appropriate to, well, you know, have my own car. Hey. Where am I? What is this place? I want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arasaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. You misunderstand me. There is no offer. What do you want? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that, none of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine print. Constructed. That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clepped it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out of And the you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arasaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said- You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was down in a Kang Tao AV? Actually... How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware. Aggressive? The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engrams. And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. 
When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Were you planning to have the engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? Yes. Which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Seuss the one who's gonna help us. Oh, fuck. What? What is it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo -hoo, do... it's bargaining time. ...is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Oh, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. Yes. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny. Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. Know what? That's enough. You're just playing for time. Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kangtao. Forget Kangtao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kangtao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. He... Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. Hmm. V did not give you even a glass of water. Unacceptable. Inhuman. That is not me. You will see the difference. I will give you full buckets. No, uh, no need. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh.
Where you divulge your master plan to annihilate Arasaka? No, it's the part where I say I despise petty merc thieves who think they're hot shit rebels after setting foot in the afterlife. Might think you took on Arasaka, but you're just a bug they scraped off the sole of their boot and tossed in the trash. Got yourself killed by him, too. And I'd just as soon not take advice from a digital course. That's what they teach folks in soccer these days? To shut down, cut power the moment truth looks them in the eye? Sure seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seen flashes of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine. Honestly, I'm scared of the day I'll start seeing your memories as my own. Shit. If it's a two-way street, I'll somehow have to live with the fact that I let Deshaun best me. Fuck me over. <laughs> Can you just tell me what you want? What you really want? Help me settle my score against Arasaka. That's it. Know what? It seems to me you need to have a nemesis at all times. Ideally, a crazy powerful one to feed your ego. And they gotta be practically unbeatable to justify a suicide run. Huh. You're funny. Actually, that's what I am. That kind of nemesis. I'll decide your fate. And then fuck all you can do. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and empty pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Right. I really argue with you there. V, I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Do whatever it takes to stop them, defeat them, gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. <laughs> fucking hell. You still don't see it, but you will one day. Mm. All right. Seems like I've been using tech weapons quite a fair bit. <sighs> that will be a wrap for today. Holy shit, an hour and a half. Thank you all for watching. I got a few thumbnails ready for the Western Apocalypse suit. Oof, oh, Jesus. I've got some thumbnails ready for the Western Apocalypse series. Not all of them because it's over 200 thumbnails I gotta get ready, so I've gotten. Uh, about 40. Yeah, and every two weeks I'll get like a, get the next lot ready. <laughs> it's a big series. Most likely Monday is when I will officially start. I'll make it separate. Play I'll make a playlist for both Westland Apocalypse and each of the individual games. Borderlands and 
Red Dead, and Horizon. <sighs> that's quite a lot to do. That's about it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.